It's an unboxing. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada and today we're going to be unboxing this. I got this just around Christmas time and I haven't gotten to it yet but I actually am very excited about this. Now you know I do 3D printing um, for its own sake, for model building, for die cast cars. This is a new resin printer with a bigger build area and faster printing abilities. And uh, it was a special pre-order type thing. So I ordered it and then it showed up like three or four months later. And uh, we're finally gonna go ahead and open it and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and get this sucker out of the box and see what we have here. Now, I'm of the mindset that you can never have too many 3D printers. Uh, 3D printers and dogs. You really just can't have too many of them. Well, okay, maybe you can, especially if you're married. I'm sure most wives would agree that you can have too many of these 3D printers, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so let's get this sucker out of here. Now today, I'm just going to be getting it out of the box and we'll take a quick look at it. And later I'll do a whole separate video on uh, its first use. So that's where we're going to be at with that. But hey, let's get it out of here, okay? Um, boxed well, okay? But I'm noticing that this box is its box. It's not like it's a box in a box like most companies do. Um, so it's got... Really nice, I'm keeping that. That's got really nice foam padding in there. Um, here's the Photon Mono SE assembly instructions. Here's something printed in big Japanese writing or Chinese writing, whatever that is. This paper can be used for leveling. Hey, look at that, there you go. This can be used for leveling your, your uh, print bed. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. That's one other feature of this is it has easy leveling, I guess. Here's an AnyCubic uh, inspection card. It apparently passed. Power cord, right? Standard power cord. Like I said, um, this is a, a little bit bigger print area and it's supposed to print in almost half the time. And here's our little goodie bag. It's got a mask, after sales service card, a scraper, your flash drive, a couple other things. It looks like there's an antenna here. So this must be like Wi-Fi. It's got some Allen wrenches and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, look at this. An actual metal scraper. Wow. And it's actually got a little bit of an edge here. Because that's always been a complaint, is getting stuff off the print bed. And, and usually what I use is a, a little flat X-Acto knife, and I kind of wriggle underneath it until it will pop off. But this, this has got a... You can't cut yourself on it, but it looks like it's going to do a really good job of getting stuff, stuff off the uh, home plate. So that's a nice touch. And, and you know how I feel about packaging, right? And I would say this packaging on the inside is, is a, so far about an 8 or a 9. But, you know, there's no beautiful outer package to it. It's just a box. So anyhow, you've got uh, your little screwdriver, Allen head screwdriver for tightening down the FEP. And uh, you have the power converter block that goes to this, right? Side. We got another piece of that foam. You have to find something to do with this. Look at this. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna give it a nine on the interior packing because that's that's some serious business right there. Okay, and well, there's the printer. It's got 
see if we can get this sucker out of here. Oh, let's see. This is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna try and lift it up out the bag here. Ow! I'm uh, impressed by how damn heavy this thing is. Okay. Wow. Way heavier than I, I thought the other photon is. So, let's get it out of here. You know, once I was doing one of these unboxings, and uh, I was at home being comfortable, and I was doing an unboxing to share with you, and I didn't have any shoes or socks on, and somebody actually in my comments complained about my feet. Hey, you know, I guess if you want a, a foot-free zone, this is not the channel for it. Wow, this thing is got some serious weight in its butt. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this up on this table here and reset the camera so we can take a better look at it. All right, so give me one second. Okay, so here we have it. The uh, Anycubic Photon Mono SE. Um, it looks the same, kind of. Now here's the little door control panel. It looks the same to me. I, I think it's definitely heavier. There is a, if you spin it in the back, here's a, an antenna jack for that antenna I saw. There's a power, power jack. Here is your USB port and your power switch. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. So let's kind of give a look at this thing. So far, I have to say, I'm impressed by the weight of this thing. There we go. And, and look, see, once again, okay, they, they left all the, uh, the plastic on the, the clear panels here. Inside, it's filled with more of this uh, protection. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a packaging. The only reason it's not getting a 10 in packaging is because it's ugly. I know, stupid, but that, that's how I roll. It's ugly. What the hell? Can that possibly be the build point? That is, there's no way that's bigger than the other other any cubic printer I have that's so tiny I I don't know what what's with that let's take a look here see there's no parts there all right so wow that is small I, I'm maybe they just mean it's more build Build dimension that way, and I don't know that is really, really small. So I don't even know what to say about that. All right, well, that's for a different time. Okay, so here's my vat. Let's get my big old fat vat out. Here we go. Hello? Hello? I am your father. Okay, FEP. Looks like it's already pretty tight. I'll have to check the tightness of that before first use. The vat looks, holy cow. Okay, the vat looks the same to me except for this right here. In the old vat, you can only Put your uh, resin level up to this this seam here. Look at the max fill line on this this vat here. You can put a lot of resin in here. Okay, so there's that. And let's see here. There is a uh, a protective layer on the on the screen. All right, put that off. That's really sticky. All right. The hell? 
That's some kind of a... I don't know what's going on there. That looks weird. Oh, it's just a piece of sealant or something over the screen. I hope that's not going to cause a problem. There's a, a little ridge here. It's like a piece of tape that goes here. I don't know if you can see it, but around the screen there's like a piece of tape. And here it's kind of sunk in. But uh, hopefully that won't be any kind of an issue. Alright, so we can put the FEP back in, the, not the FEP, but the uh, resin vat back in. You tighten that up. Tighten that up. And uh, I can't put this on right now because uh, I don't have power to it. I need to raise it up before I can put that back on. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Um, let's take a take a peek at the instructions, shall we? All right, let's do that. Let's take a look. Okay. So what do we got here? It's so weird because the book is all backwards. Photon Mono SE Assembly Instruction. You'd think it would be like this, but it's not. So I don't know. It's all weird and backwards. Okay, so assembly, install a door handle, loosen the screw, free the platform. So that's uh, right here. Uh, click tools, move Z 10 millimeter on the screen to raise the platform bracket. Install the printing platform. Now that's it. It looks so small. Maybe it's just its shape and color, but it looks really, really tiny. Uh, tear off the protective film on the LCD screen. Make sure the platform is aligned with the LCD screen. Place the leveling paper on the LCD screen. Click Tools, Move, Z, Home on the screen. Press Finger press on top of the platform gently, then tighten the screw and secure the platform completely. Then click Z equals zero, enter on the screen, click enter again, pop up window, pull out the paper. All right, and then what's on the back here? Printing, ensure the 2K, so it's got a 2K LCD screen, and the platform are both clean, ensure the resin vat is clean and free of dust, install the resin vat, until it aligns with the two screws on the panel and tighten the adjustable nuts on both sides. Make sure you wear masks and gloves. Slowly pour the resin into the vat. Don't exceed the maximum scale of the vat. Insert the USB drive to the machine and choose the test file, test PWMS, and print. New features. Ensure the antenna has been installed, otherwise the function is invalid. Open browser in your phone to scan the code and download any Cubic 3D application. Start your remote 3D printing. <coughs> oh, so okay, that's nice. Remote 3D printing. You can download the application from our website. iOS users can use can download it from the App Store. For detailed instructions, please refer, refer to the user manual from the USB drive. So, wow, remote printing, that's nice. Dual rails for keeping uh, your print layers nice and level, uh, much faster. Oh, I, from what I understood, it was like twice as fast. I thought the print area is supposed to be bigger, and they must be meaning here to here, because they sure don't mean it here. This actually looks smaller to me. I'm going to have to look into that. But it looks so small. Holy cow. I don't know. So, anyhow... Um, even just having it print faster, even if it's the same size, having it print faster will be a nice thing, you know, but hey, we'll see how it goes. All right, so there it is, my, uh, uh, Photon Mono SE, what is this? The, uh, Mono SE, right? Photon Mono SE, there it is. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe. Be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss a single video on 3D printing here at Fat Guy Productions. 
If you have any questions or comments, ask them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to get these things off of here, put the knob on it, and get it upstairs. And then we'll make a new video on this thing in action as soon as we get something ready to print. Okay, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. Until next time, be good.